We're eating sushi at Disney Springs Bowling Alley. Let's see. Hello everyone, I'm Jay. And I'm Sam. And you are watching the Theme Park Foodies and you're back at Disney Springs to dine at the signature bowling alley here, Splitsville. They have one of these actually in Disney Springs as well as downtown Disney over in Disneyland in California. Uh, we've been wanting to eat here for a long time. Strangely enough, I've heard really good things about the sushi here and the food itself I hear is like very upscale. It's not just a bowling alley. They're kind of known for the food, although we won't be bowling, right? I don't know. Oh. Uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. <laughs> yeah. I did see that the prices vary uh, by the day of the week and the time, going from like $21 to $27. They also have pool tables. I know they have tons of TVs. Yeah. They have a lot of bars. They have live music. Yeah. It's, it seems like a really fun spot. And we pass this every single time we come to Disney Springs because mm -hmm. we always park at Orange Garage and Orange Garage lets you out right where yeah. Smithsville is. So I'm fine. Finally, it's our time. Yes, so uh, it's in the west side section of Disney Spring. It's kind of right next to Everglazed in this little narrow corner. They have two kind of open bars right there. And if you sit at one of the outdoor bars, the one right across from Jaleo, you can actually Haleo. get- Haleo. Oh, Haleo, sorry. You can actually get the full menu. Uh, but we'll be dining inside. We may or may not bowl. We definitely are here for the food. And I want to check out that sushi. I've been having a lot of fish lately. I guess my mercury levels are going to be pretty high. Not so good for the brain, but my brain ain't doing so good lately anyway. Should I get a life insurance? Yeah, well, no, I'm just, I, don't, I, I, I say words wrong a lot. Uh, but yeah, I am looking forward to the sushi. I've been eating a lot of fish lately, and we recently had sushi over cowfish over Universal, so let's see how those compare. Uh, anything you have your eye on, Sam? Uh, buffalo chicken egg rolls, right? appetizer. I knew that appetizer was going to get that. I did see, like, table side root beer float, Ooh. which I'm wondering what table side means yeah. in regards to a float. Yeah, so it does have like a 1950s 50s kind of like classic uh, bowling alley aesthetic. Uh, I'm excited to go inside. I'm excited to eat. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, if you enjoyed the content, please like and subscribe. Join us for our dinner at Splitsville here at Disney Springs. So if you come into the back end of Orange Garage, you'll have Everglazed. On your right, you'll pass right past AMC on your right hand side and then you'll see Splitsville on your left. The first thing you're going to see is that kind of open kind of bar that's across from um, Everglazed and then they have another kind of bar over here that actually has live music. But you'll have to walk past this bar and make a left and you see that big Splitsville sign with the M&M store? Right before that is where you'll be checking in. A little confusing, right? All right, so we're walking in and it does look like you have to have a reservation for dining or for bowling. Just we're not bowling. We're because we're dining, we have another reservation for dining. You go to the right for bowling, you go to the left to check in, and then you bear left again, and you wait to get seat, seated after you check in. They do have some pretty nice views at Disney Springs up that escalator. All right, all right, they see us with great views of the lanes, and they have a pretty stacked out menu, so let's go over it real quick. All right, so I hear very positive things about the handhelds as well as the sushi. I've actually already ordered the Ninja Crunch, Usually not a tempura fan, but I like to try it out. And these handhelds sound really good. They have a cheeseburger deluxe, West Texas burger, buffalo chicken burger. We are getting buffalo chicken spring rolls though. And in the apps, they have the cone of fries. The, uh, they have edamame, obviously with the sushi. Macho nachos, cheeseburger sliders. This is what we got. The buffalo chicken egg rolls and pan fried pot stickers. Voodoo shrimp roll sounds really good. They have New York style thick crust pizza, which in my opinion, is not actually New York style pizza though. These are the salads. The entrees sound pretty good too. See a lot of Asian flair in here. So you can see the chicken fried rice, sweet and spicy chicken bowl, tuna poke bowl, chicken dinner, fish and chips. So that's not Asian flair. I guess Asian American food and uh, steak and fries. Also grilled salmon with mango chutney. They will have the drinks on the back of the menu. No mocktails for me and Sam today, but they do have some frozen drinks like pina coladas, Big Wave Dave sound pretty good. They have draft beer, bottles and cans, and a selection of wines that you could try out. They have the resort classics, like obviously they have the screwdriver in here, guava lemonade, tropical Long Island iced tea, typical stuff. And I guess these are like their signature cocktails, like the old fashioned, key lime martini, obviously they're in Florida, so it makes sense to have some key lime flair, Mai Tai. All right, so the appetizers are here. I got the ninja roll to try out, but Sam, she's gonna start off with the buffalo chicken 
egg rolls. They come with a little ranch dip, Sam. What's, what's exactly in these? That's actually avocado ranch. I'm very excited. These are hand rolled and filled with buffalo chicken, cream cheese, celery, and carrots. Served with scallions and avocado ranch. They look really, they have a really nice golden crisp on them. It's like a buffalo chicken dip and an egg roll had a baby. It's so good. And the, the front, it's not, the egg roll isn't greasy. It has like a perfect crunchy exterior. And there's also crunch from the celery and the carrots, but then also the chicken is nice and creamy because it's mixed with cream cheese and buffalo sauce and the avocado ranch, so good and cools it down. It's a tiny bit spicy. The avocado ranch definitely helps. I love these nine. Wow, nine. That's start, starting off really strong. I have to try one out for myself, but let me start with my sushi. All right, so I'm gonna try this out without any soy sauce first. It does look very fresh, and it's not like, it's got tempura on it, but it's not tempura fried, I just realized. And look at that little eel sauce at the bottom. Ooh, that looks good, let's try it out. There's a little spice in there. It's definitely the best sushi I've ever had at a bowling alley before. All right, now I'm gonna try it with just a dab of wasabi and some soy sauce. So let's see what the traditional mix-ins of sushi. Oh, that one's got a little dangler on it. All right, I'm gonna dip that in my soy sauce. Right. There is a little tempura fried shrimp in there. That's good. That is a really good roll. Very light on the spice. Prefer using the less sodium soy sauce. It's really good. I'm gonna give that an eight. Definitely I, way higher than I expected to have like sushi at a bowling alley. I don't know if this is gonna be the best sushi in Disney. I do really like the sushi that you can get over in the Polynesian, but this may be better than that. Who knows? So far, so good though. All right, so our dinner is here. I was gonna go with a handheld. I really wanted that cheeseburger, but then I saw the chicken fried rice. I just had to get it. But Sam, you actually went with what you initially said you were gonna get with, go with. That's that, that this salad, right? Chicken chopped salad. So it has heirloom tomatoes, chicken, avocado, bacon, onions, blue cheese crumbles. There's also like a balsamic drizzle on there too. I think it also has a creamy Parmesan dressing, vinaigrette. It, it looks very good. It looks so much better than I anticipated. Like they really nice presentation and a really big portion. All right, let's see how it is. Get a nice bite. I don't taste the creamy Parmesan dressing. I'm getting more of the balsamic, but I love balsamic. But I also think that bacon always goes well with blue cheese crumbles. It has a lot of flavor. It tastes very fresh. It's a big portion. Definitely like a good summer dinner or like on a nice hot day. I'm gonna give this a seven. Okay, that seems like an even fair amount, and seven's elevated, and I think for the size, they definitely add some points for it. All right, so this is the chicken fried rice. It's pan roasted chicken, peas, carrots, broccoli, egg, bacon, and sushi rice stir-fried in kimchi soy sauce. It looks so good. I can't wait to just dig into this. Um, hmm. It's like a mountain of rice. I know, oh, look at the steam just come off that after I break that. You can see some of the egg in there too. All right, I think I got a little bit, let me get some broccoli, a little bit of everything for that bite. I need a bite of that. It's okay. Let me try to get more rice. It's very good. I think so far the star for me has been the buffalo chicken egg rolls. The sushi has been good too. I almost wish I went for the burger. I know the burgers here are very good. But I wanted to go for the, you know, Asian cuisine. And this didn't disappoint, it's very good. I should have went with the burger after having the sushi already because then I could have tried both their styles of cuisine. I still think this is solid. It's good. Everything is well cooked. I'm gonna give it a seven, too. I think seven suffices for both these dishes. Desserts look interesting. So they have the cookies and cream sundae, the super sundae, oh, it's super, it's powerful. They have a Ghirardelli brownie a la mode, and they have the table side root beer. Because this seems the most original, we're going to get the table side root beer, but that a la mode is also speaking to me. All right, so we just got the table side root beer. I thought they poured this in for you, but you gotta pour it in yourself. It's basically just a bowl of vanilla ice cream, and some root beer, so let's do the honors, Sam. Let's pour her in. Oh, it's gonna, yeah, it's gonna froth, it's gonna froth over. 
I got it close. So the froth isn't really going down, so Sam's just gonna basically try it out. We tried to mix it around a little bit. I think also you're trying to use those, or gotta use those spoons to scoop out some ice cream every now and then. We still have like half a can of bottle or bottle of root beer left. We're going wild tonight with that bottle of root beer. It's really good. It's it's simple dessert, but it's a classic. And I kinda like, you know, pour it myself. What table side root beer meant, which is why I wanted to order it, but it's, it's kind of funny that it's like you do it yourself. But it's, it's, I think it's cute and I think it's fun to share. And I'm happy I got it. I'm gonna give it an eight. I gotta try it myself. It seems too simple to me to be an eight. Since you already took some root beer out, I think I'm gonna pour some back in. Look at that froth. It is a frothy boy. You gotta give it that. It's got a nice froth going on it. Can I get some ice cream out of this, you think? I'd like to have some ice cream on the spoon. I think I did it. Oh, I did it. It's a lot of ice cream, though. All right, let's try it out. You know, it said creamy vanilla ice cream. That is creamy vanilla ice cream. Paper straw doesn't really hold the integrity. Mm. But when you get those chunks of vanilla with the root beer, that hits. And it does feel pretty cool having it in a chalice that's frothing over. Would you give it an eight? I gave it an eight. I'm gonna go eight as well. Very good. Um, it's a fun, it's a fun root beer float. It's not gonna blow, blow you away, but if you like root beer floats, this is definitely a thing you gotta get here. Now we're on our way out, and I just wanna know if you guys think I'm seeing things. Is that bowling ball right there at the very top? Is that a hidden Mickey? You guys tell us in the comments below. Dinner was good, Sam, and I think the vibes were immaculate, right? The music was so good. All right, so that's it for our time dining at Splitsville. I did learn about how to bowl here. So if you do a reservation in the My Disney Experience set, that is only for dining, that only guarantees you a table. You can call 24 hours in advance to book a lane, or you could do the walk-up. So if we wanted to do the walk-up, we might have had to wait like an hour or two, possibly. So I think we made the right decision. Maybe one day we'll come back to bowl here. It did look pretty fun. The aesthetic was very cool. I think it's very your vibe, Sam. Like you love that 1950s aesthetic. Yeah, know? and I think the float was like the perfect dessert to get yeah. to go along with it. The music was so amazing. In <laughs> I like it was like 90s wedding music, but yeah. also like some like newer stuff. Like and, Taylor Swift. I think that the the movement, the atmosphere felt felt very alive, especially with like the bowling balls going off in the background. Everyone was cheering, have a good having a good time. The aesthetic again felt like that classic kind of 1950s feel. I do want to say the two things I think two best things that we ate with for me the buffalo chicken egg rolls and that root beer float. What do you think? I agree. I want to come back like and do the outside like seating because there's always yeah. like a live musician there. That's like and a bar. Just, yeah, yeah, and just get like the buffalo chicken rolls, get some apps. I think yeah. it's a great spot. And I think if you if you have a non-park day and maybe it's raining, I think this is a great place to come and bowl and yeah. eat, play pool. Kids are having a really good time. Yeah, it was nice. It was um, really fun. Yeah, I wouldn't say it's my favorite restaurant in Disney Springs, but it doesn't have to be. It definitely <laughs> complements the offerings here at Disney Springs well. And if there is a restaurant that you guys want to see that we haven't covered here on the channel, let us know in the comments below. We'd love to hear your thoughts. There are a few places here like House of Blues, there's Aleo, probably that we been like to. a handful that we haven't gone to. Yet. Yeah, so we'd like to end, or maybe that we haven't covered. There's a few we oh, probably haven't covered true. that we've eaten at. That's so true. if there's something you want to see, let us know in the comments. And if you enjoyed the content, please like and subscribe. Liking will really help our channel grow. It pushes this video out into the stratosphere of the YouTube algorithm. Helps, the, helps other people find the video. Subscribing, it also helps our channel grow. Hit the bell notification so that way you're notified every time when videos come out, which is when, Sam? Every Monday and Thursday at 12 p.m. Thanks so much for watching. Don't count the days. I make the days count. We will see you next time. That's all, folks. I really do feel like Disney Springs has been upping its game. It really does feel probably my favorite, I mean, my favorite kind of shopping and dining district that I've been to. Uh, they're also getting a drone show, Sam, for the summer. Did you see that? Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah. The people you see scrolling up on the screen, those are our members here. Um, they get end credits accreditation. <laughs> And Sounds you, very official. Yes, you can get end credits credentials for as low as a dollar. <laughs> as low as a dollar ninety nine a month. We have multiple different tiers, but we do just appreciate you watching, liking, and subscribing. All those things help us out 
so much. We really do feel so privileged to be able to be here consistently and experience these places, and it really makes us happy to be able to provide them to you. It's a lot of work, but it's work that we enjoy doing.